Well, you have several alternatives open to you now. <laughs> you could stay at the wall for a bit, go out for chips, or write that novel you were with playing. <laughs> Alternatively, you could listen to and indeed watch the Tom O'Gormless interview. Gormless. Smell. Smear! 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 And that's enough of my smears. <laughs> now you wonder what I'm doing? Yeah, you wonder what I'm doing? Only the man who told me to do that knows. In the world of show blending, you get to meet 150 people every week. Which is an advantage on my part, because I always used to only meet my sis. But now it's all people, and they've all got suggestions. Sometimes they take them on. That was a good one. Smear. When do I have to say? He did have half his side of his head. It was all down his face and all that, because he'd had beans. Anyway, yes, and again, it's time, and we tr tr crank cranking it up. And uh, the man who's going to do it with me, he's a man who, perhaps you remember him, because he, uh, how should I put it? Paints, doesn't paint. Goes to 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 do you have it often? <laughs> <laughs> have what often? They Sorry. warned me that you like it both ways. Do you understand me? Yeah, well, I thought this was going to be more light-hearted than that. It is! It? It's light me! Yeah? Light me up. God, I've gone funny. Yeah, have you I'm ever not... had a cold? Yes. Have yeah. you ever had it when it goes into flu? I've had both. Things. And have you ever had it when the flu goes to your stomach? And yeah, makes well, you upset and I'll, sick. Are we just going to discuss ailments in this uh, entire... I should interview. get things up straight and first of all. Possibly. Because you know if in a proper professional capacity and a man comes on and he goes, Hello, welcome to this week's show. He's got to say I've got a bad throat, not he? Yes. Right, yes. in the same way, I've been very, very ill for about two weeks now. Mm -hmm. Started off as a cold and now I don't know what it is. It's in my ears, the doctor said. Well, maybe you shouldn't be doing this program if you're feeling ill. Don't you have a substitute? Cock on. I beg your pardon? Cock on. I'm probably going to regret asking this, but... Um, That's what, what I say. What on earth do you mean? That's how I back myself up. I say, Tom Lee boy, you've got to cock on and do it. And I'm doing it. Cocking on. Oh, I didn't right. mention it. Right. But I have got to take pills about halfway through the programme, and I'd be at very advantaged if you'd say, Tom, time for your pills. Well, what time do you want me to say it? What's the time now? Half seven. About quarter two. Okay. Okay. Fine. Put them on the table there, but next to me Jones, mm -hmm. so we don't forget. Right. David! Well, David, hello. hello. Nice to have you on. Is it nice to be on? It's great. I yeah. don't mean in, in a specific sense. I mean generally. It's great to be on the show. Yeah. No, no. I mean generally. Is it nice to be on shows? Because it's very easy for people to forget yeah. about people when they get on a bit. No, no. It's an opportunity for me to get things off my chest, and uh, that's nice. Mm. Now, Andrew, when did you first get into records? Oh, well, we're going right back to the 60s now. Do you remember the 60s, Tom? No. Nah. <laughs> really? I wasn't born. Oh, sorry, I do apologise. I was born in 1968, so I don't remember them. Oh, right. It'd be enough. stupid to expect me to remember two years, the that's... first two years of my life. Well, that's fair enough, but I'm sure you remember some of the uh, the attitudes that came from the 60s. No. Do you remember anything about the, um, the spirit of change that uh, affected the 70s? No. Fine, well, in the 60s, um... I remember them trousers, if that's any help. Which particular trousers were these? I got them on, in honour of you. So it was a good job you remember them, eh? Yeah, but the funny thing is, they're not really trousers as such. Bit of a shock for you, perhaps. Watch me unbutton my shirt now. Okay. See, they go all the way up. <laughs> Selena Tad. I'm wearing the trousers part, but then there's my upper part, but I put a shirt on, not to shock everyone. 
because they might think I've gone radical. Well, I've worn a few leotards in my time, not quite the same as the ones you're wearing at the moment. So they're yeah. custom made or something. Do you know um, Evans and Co. in yeah. Ponty? The, um, they closed down now. They used to do school clothes for school children and all that. Mm-hmm. Well, this is a leotard I bought from there. They do ones for children who are a bit too big or too small to buy clothes oh. in normal places. Right, I'm with you. I understand. Yeah, well, I mean, I, when I first got into I the I bought business, a big girl's leotard. They said in the shop on the label, suitable for girls between 8 and 18, as long as their bodies are longer than their legs. <laughs> I used to think your body was longer than your legs. Did you really? Yeah, but I realised how stupid I was being. Fine, should we get back to the 60s? I'll do my shirt up while you talk. <laughs> I don't think people want to see my thunder flash anymore. <laughs> your what? My thunder flash. I did it myself with Tipex. <laughs> it looks like the special space in designs you had on you when you were being Flash Harry. <laughs> or whatever your name was when you were a different man. <laughs> See, records that you used to do, you'd still do, but the ones when you started? Mm. What, why did you think I would do that instead of going to work in a bank or whatever? Well, I I'm did always I, interested in that. Interestingly enough, I did actually work in a bank. Oh, Christ. I did a couple of the temporary jobs before I got into the business. I mean, I really... Can I be interrupting you? <laughs> sure, carry on. Just for an odd second. Don't think I go care. Mm-hmm. Phil! There's a bin bag behind my chair! I don't know what's in it, but it's soft. <laughs> but yeah... Because normally we clear the shit off the studio before we climb on, but there's still some on here. What should I do? Hi, all right. Devin, mm. can, can you just check out of way? <laughs> a bag. Yeah. Because you were closest with your long arm in. Um, just leave, just check it off. Where to? Just check it. Check it now! Okay, put your arm down now because I can see up you. And if I can, then this camera over my shoulder can. Something I've learned. Yeah, records. Why? Why records? Yeah. Well, I mean, at that point, I was sort of searching within myself. I was saying I had to be uh, involved in some way in the arts, at least. And if why? I, it was just what I had to do. Why? Like, I didn't really question Well, someone it. was giving you grief, were they? No. Saying no. you get in the arts, otherwise we beat your head up. Not even slightly. Perhaps I was beating myself up, but I'm not sure. Well, stupid. But... Um, Plenty of people want to beat me up. I should imagine the same for you, without you doing it. I learned that lesson about tw- oh, do I, maybe 12 years ago now. Mm-hmm. I always used to smack myself in the cheeks, keep myself awake when I was in the pub with the boys because I couldn't stand their awful, stinky, stenchy, horrible conversations because they made me go to sleep. Well, so why did you go to the pub in the first place? Gotta go out. No, you don't. No, I realise that. Now you realise that. I stay in now, mm-hmm. and other people do the beating up for me. Why didn't you do the same as that, is what I'm trying to say. I didn't make records. I did, but I stopped. You haven't stopped. You made records? Yeah, a few, one or two, both three. Really? One of them got destroyed. But other than that, I did alright. Destroyed? In what way destroyed? The man who was in charge of it was displeased. Who was the man? It's nothing that I want to talk about. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Um, no, I was just going to say that I wanted to be involved in the arts. And I told myself, I mean, either I can stay in this bank job, I, I can stay, you know, working... Yeah, yeah, alright, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair enough. But what do you think? We don't need people to do money. There's always people suited for every job, and I decided I wasn't suited for that job. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. Excuse me? You would have nothing but a ponce when you say that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Why? Because, well, say I was like what, like I was before in the pigs, in the pig farm, right? Because mm-hmm. my uncle arranged it at the allotments. It was only oh, any I bet you pigs. forever for that one. <laughs> yeah, but say I was doing that, which I was, as mm-hmm. it happens, and I didn't find it much good because all the teats used to frighten me. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, like. I said, instead of doing that, I want to go in the media. I said to Uncle Pat, I don't want to do your pigs no more. I want to be in the media. And he, he gave me a really hard clout across the years, and I ring in for days. Why didn't I just stay with the pigs? Because you felt a calling. A calling. A calling, and you felt that calling. And you had to take yeah, but it. somebody else has got to do the pigs now. Yeah. Gerwin does it now. Well, I'm sure, is Gerwin happy? Or? He's handicapped. He can't get a proper job. He can't go in the media like I've done. What I'm saying is, why didn't you just pretend you're handicapped? Then you'd enjoy it. I wish I was disabled sometimes. And there's nothing wrong with saying that. We should all say that a bit more. You say it now. Uh, I won't if I... Please, will you say it? This this program will break. 
Unless you say it. No, that's not necessarily true. It'll bust. No, it won't. This program will be bust unless no, you say won't. that. No, it won't. No, of course it won't. That's it stupid, won't. isn't it? It is. It'll is just stupid. carry on going. Exactly. Can you say it anyway, though? What do you want me to say? I'll say it. You say it after me. Mm-hmm. I. I. David Bowen. David Bowie. Wish that I was disabled. No, I'm not saying that. Wish that I was disabled. Wish that I was disabled. True forever. True forever. Do you I, want us to shake on this now? I like you now. Yeah, no. Can we do something that's like shaking, but we don't have to touch? A wink? No, not that. Let's just wave. Wave at me. Uh-huh. <laughs>